Plant breeding programs are often interested in the composition of seeds, especially in seed crops such as soybean and peanut, where seed composition is important for product and use. What chemistry can be used to determine percentages of protein, oil, fatty acids, amino acids, and sugars in seeds, but this takes a lot of time and money. A near-infrared instrument can be used to determine the seed composition of a large number of samples quickly. Samples are read by the machine in a matter of seconds. The machine uses calibrations that were developed using hundreds of samples with known composition. This video will demonstrate how NIR works to read seed composition of both whole soybeans and ground soybean. Here are some of the tools we'll need. A tray, magnetic ring, polystyrene block, ruler, cups to hold the seeds, and seed samples. Seeds with dark seed coats may need to be ground using machines such as this in order to get accurate readings on the NIR. The Results Plus program is used by this NIR machine to take readings, display, and store data. To calibrate the machine, place the square magnetic tray under the light and slide out the tray. Next, place the polystyrene block with the cover removed onto the tray and slide it under the light. On the products screen, click polystyrene and then click confirm to let the machine know that the tray is in place. Click analyze and the machine will start reading the sample. Enter poly into the sample ID bar and click continue. The polystyrene block should read around 1143.6 nanometers. If this is the case, the machine should be calibrated and ready to read samples. Remove the polystyrene block and the magnetic tray from the machine. In the bottom corner of the screen, select Products. On the screen are analyses for soybean, polystyrene for calibration, peanuts, forages, and alfalfa. This video will focus on analyses of whole and ground soybean using the Combined Soy Small Cup program. In this program, protein, oil, and fatty acids will be displayed immediately after samples are read. Place a cup into the tray. For whole soybeans, use the deepest cup. Pour the beans into the cup and use the ruler to make the beans level with the top of the cup. Place the cup into the magnetic ring and slide it under the light. Either type your sample ID into the box that pops up or use a barcode scanner. Click the icon next to the sample ID to indicate that this is a lab sample and click continue. The machine will quickly read the sample and show the composition values on the screen. In this case, protein and oil are within the expected range of values, but the fatty acids are outside the expected range of values and are shown in red. Remove the sample from under the light and prepare your next sample. For ground soybean, place the shallow cup into a tray. Pour the ground seed in and smooth the top. Place the sample into the magnetic ring. Use the combined soy small cup program again.
Slide the sample under the light and it will begin to read automatically. Enter your sample name and click continue. Once again, protein and oil are within the expected range of values, while the fatty acid values in red are outside the expected range. Remove the sample from under the light and dump it into the tray. Pour it back into the envelope and use a brush to clean the meal out of the tray and the cup. Once they're clean, move on to the next sample. When all the samples have been read, click the home button in the lower left corner of the screen. The machine may perform a database backup at this point. To export your results, click the reporting button. Select the product for the results you want to export. Make sure the analysis date and times are correct. Click search. Export the results to an Excel file by choosing Excel export in the export type box. Click export. You can now view the folder where the Excel file is stored. Open the Excel file to view complete results of the analysis. These include the type of analysis, time of analysis, sample ID, moisture, protein, oil, ash, fiber, fatty acids, amino acids, sugars, and starch. Moisture should be from 5 to 8% when using the NIR. This machine is a quick and efficient way to quantify many aspects of seed composition.